Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel, Kid Zone Artapalooza. My name is Jesse, and I want to thank you all for being here with me today, um, or whatever day you're on, because you're probably not all going to be watching it today. Uh, anyhow, today's art tutorial session comes by a request from Bailey, who has asked that I do a tutorial on Mr. Homer Simpson. Um, I met Bailey, her little brother, and so their family over the weekend at an event in Temecula. I was doing, a, I have a little booth set up, and I have art supplies there, and people come through and paint on little 8 by 10 inch canvases that I have set up. So she was there with her little brother, they painted with me for a little while, and then later in the day she jumped on my YouTube and requested that I do Homer Simpson. So Homer Simpson it is. Bailey and to your little brother and the rest of your family I do want to say hello and I hope to see you guys there at these events again it's happening again this Sunday it's every other Sunday but this uh, these two sand, uh, Sundays together are being uh, done back to back now the event this time around won't be from the morning usually it's 11 to 4 I believe this time it's 3 to 8 or 4 to 8 so anyhow if you guys are interested in coming out it's uh, at Vale headquarters in Temecula Come on out and visit me. Say hello. Anyway, everybody, get your pencils ready. Get something to draw on ready. Make sure you guys have an eraser because you'll be using that. And let's get moving. Mr. Homer Simpson drawing tutorial coming right up. Okay, everyone. So here is our Homer Simpson drawing tutorial video. Now... I've never drawn Homer Simpson before. This will be the first time, so um, this will be a fun little, you know, little experiment that I've got going on here, <clears throat> Bailey. So, and everybody else that's watching, hope you guys are all ready. Okay, cool. I got my microphone. I'm just making sure that I got my microphone in place here. Sometimes I've realized too late that it, that it's not on and people cannot hear me. All right, just a couple of tips on drawing. <clears throat> I'm going to make this kind of quick. I don't want to make this a really really long video. I know sometimes they get a little long, but of course, for those of you that want to speed things up, <clears throat> move forward, move back, pause it, etc. you guys know what to do, okay? So I, anytime I'm going to draw something, I always look at the overall shapes first. So we can look, instead of looking at all the individual little things all at once, which can make things really complicated, I'll look at overall shapes, and then I'll start adding in detail as I go. So the top of Mr. Homer Simpson's head can be looked like, looked at, as kind of a partial circle, right? You got a little, his dome right here is a little bit of a circle. Um, it actually almost has a little bit of a triangle shape. It gets narrow. If you're looking at the chin, it gets narrow in towards the chin and it's a little bit wider and um, rounder over the, at the top of the head. Of course, his neck, if you were to break down his neck, you got a little bit of a, of a rectangle or a square right there. All right, you got a rectangle for the mouth and you got a circle for this part, his jaw right, the area around his mouth. So the ear is almost a circle, right, eyes are a circle, nose has a circle in it. So I like to break things out down like that first. So let's go ahead and draw Mr. Homer. Where would I start? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the top of his head. I'm gonna mark off where the top of his head's gonna be. I'll do it like this, just a little bit of an angle. Now you're probably not gonna be able to see everything on your, um, on the camera screen here. I'm gonna do things light. But I'll try to darken it up. The reason I do it light to begin with is so that I, if I have to erase, it's easy. I don't have and I don't have to um, erase too much and leave smudges all over the place. But anyway, so this here, about right here, is going to be the top of his head. There. All right. So just going to adjust that a little bit. The bottom of his chin is going to be about right here. Okay. In this case, I'm going to draw try to draw the head about the same size as what's, as what's on the original. Okay, so I just kind of transfer over, right, the lines on the original paper, I bring, I bring them over here. So there's that. Okay, cool. Top of his dome, lower the forehead comes down, does something like this. I'm holding my pencil nice and loose. Okay, and I'll even bring that line down further. So it gives me a little bit of a starting point. Okay, kind of, kind of a, a marker. So this would be that across like that. All right. 
back of his head. I'm going to try not to block this. Whoops. So black back of his head comes down back a little bit. And then same thing, shoots forward at about the same angle as the front. Same slope as the front of his head does. Okay. So this here is here. That's going to be the top of his head. Keep in mind that these are all pencil marks that are light and I can make adjustments as I go. Okay. As needed. Okay. So the neck where it touches the ear is about right here. Just come down again, folks. I'm just doing general shapes. All right. You'll start to see this make sense as we go. This neckline is about, about right here. All right. About. Spin my head all the way across. Okay, <clears throat> so we got the slow force for his forehead, top of his head. Um, his eyes are approximately, the top of his eyes are about right here. Okay, that's where the top of his eyes would be. A little slope for his forehead would be about right here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do in, draw in his forehead. And his head back down. I'm standing over at an angle from the canvas. I'm not right directly in front of it, so this makes it a little tricky. Um, but I'll do my best here. So here, come down, down to where the ear is. Ears about right there. I might as well put in that ear. All right, cool, cool, cool. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the eyes. A couple of eyes here. So I'm just gonna lightly again do the eyes. All right, so that's the front eye. Here's the eye in the back. Okay, and then his nose actually is right about here. Comes all about it. If you guys notice, I'm making lots of little lines, right? I make adjustments as I as I'm penciling things in. I see what's what I need to make an adjustment on. Then I'll make the adjustment later on. I'll come in and um, erase any pencil marks that I don't need. Okay, so now I'm drawing this part right here, I'm coming around like this, the area around his mouth. Comes down, up, to about, if I was to line down his nose, his nose is a little bit in front of where this line stops. So if his nose is here, this line needs to stop about right there. All right, guys. So here's what I have so far. I have the outlines for his eyes, right? And there's the one eye in the back. Okay, the nose comes out like this, and then over and down to create this area for the mouth. And then here's the lip part, okay? All of this, anytime you're drawing, do not be afraid to make to make changes to erase. For example, all those little, and I'm just, I'm just gonna do this for, for now. I don't have to come and do it just yet, just to kind of show you guys. So I would erase all these lines in here, Right, and I would be left with this line in the front. All right, so keep in mind erasing is part of all this creation process. A lot of times people don't people don't like to erase. They feel like erasing somehow is a mistake, a problem, something to be avoided. You can't always avoid erasing. Erasing is part of the drawing process. Sorry, folks, if I got it sounded like uh, I was a little further away. I, Moved over to open up one of the windows. Okay, cool. So we got his, this here. I'm going to go and create this line here for the neck. Again, everything stays light at the beginning. Why? Because later, I'll come in and darken it up. But, sorry, not that's not why it stays light. It stays light so that I can erase as I go along. All right. So let me take a look. Let me stand in front of it. 
um, so I can have a better look as to see what I've, to see what I've got. So I got my line for the eye comes down. Hi Bailey, hope you're watching and following along. Please leave any questions for me below. Everybody else, guys, uh, again, this was a request from Bailey, and so um, Bailey, I want to see what you what yours turns out like. Okay, so find my email below and send it over to me. All of you guys as well, if you get any of you that are following along here, please send me your results. I'd love to see what you guys what you guys uh, created. All right. So I'm just going through and adjusting this line here. And this probably needs to come, over, come forward a little bit. All right. There we go. All right, cool. So now I'm going to draw this here. And this comes over like this and meets with the lip here. Okay. So actually, I'm going to start right here at the lip. That comes down. It comes over. Comes up rounded area here and then it comes across to the ear to that part and if you were to draw a line from the forehead here the, this line that we did up here comes down it almost line almost lines up with the tip of that okay almost so there we go so there's that. Now I'm going to look at this. Do I need to make any adjustments? Sure do. I need to bring this down a little bit. This should come, be, shouldn't be up as high, so I'm going to drop it a little bit. Come over. That comes down. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to bring this down a little bit. See why I make things, my pencil lines nice and light? Very important. Very important that that's what you do so that when you erase, you don't, it makes it easier to erase. Okay, the darker the line, the harder it is to get rid of it. The more smudges it leaves behind. All right. This is one of the easiest ways to approach a drawing. All right. Got Mr. Homer's little teeth, or his big teeth, I should say. I'm going to adjust that one more time. I am a bit of a perfectionist when I draw and stuff. I, I draw people. I actually draw people and paint people and stuff like that in order to get that, to get a likeness of somebody or something. Proportion is really important. Now, when you're drawing a cartoon, it's not quite as important, right? Usually, it's a lot more uh, simple of a subject. So I'm drawing his teeth in, the lines for his teeth. Got one there, and one right there. All right. All right, Mr. Homer is coming along. So since I've got his dome, <laughs> his dome all, all uh, penciled in, I'm going to go ahead and erase lines that I don't need, like these guys right here. All right. Sorry if it's a little dark right here. I'm trying to make it stand out as much as I can. Um, let's see. You'll see in a bit I'm going to come in with marker. Okay, with marker and darken everything up. All right? So you, you guys can see my lines. Just adjusting the nose. Turn the back. Right, like this and over. Make this eye a little bit bigger. All right. So back to his dome. I'm going to erase this line here as well. All right, this coloring comes over. Down. Erase this. So I'm just going through and cleaning it up. As I'm drawing, I'm also going in and Cleaning lines up that I don't need anymore, okay? All right, this one comes up, down, under, his neck. His collar is going to be right here. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Homer's coming along. All these lines in here we don't need, so I clean those up. We need his other, his cheek 
on his other side of his face. So we're going to bring that cheek. Actually, for that, we're going to bring his nose just a little touch back, sticking out a little too far. Bring it to about here. Okay, bring this line up. All right, and then his cheek. Oh, since we're doing that, I'm also going to bring his eyeball, his eyeball out a bit more. Take it slow. Always work slowly. And just make adjustments. So look at it. Always stand back. Take a look at what you're drawing. Take a little step back. Assess it. And then make an adjustment if you need to. Make little corrections. All right, and here comes his cheek. All that in preparation for his little cheek. All right, this right there is that. Okay, Mr. Homer Simpson is starting to look pretty good there. And I need to fix his brow. This guy here comes out like that. Let's do his little eyeballs. Now watch guys, because I'm, I'm painting on an easel, I grab this hand right here, put it down on my table, and then I put my the hand that I'm drawing with over my wrist, and that gives my hand stability. It stabilizes it. I'm able to hold my hand, my pencil, a little more, um, a little more firmly. It keeps it from shaking. Sometimes by doing it like this with your hand free floating, it's a little tough to get in there and do little small areas, intricate areas, or you know, little uh, small details. All right, let's do the inside of his ear. This little, little part, part in here. Looks like a little, almost like a part, part of a circle coming down and then in the other direction. All right, all right, look at that. Look at that. What about his hair up on top? Hold on, I'm gonna take a look at his head. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. I'm gonna just make an adjustment. go and then I'm going to, going to come in with his hair these two little lines right here one and then two let's comb over because Homer has a comb over yes and then what about the hair over his ears like it's just a giant M right all right there's Mr. Homer. Okay, his chin. This line here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust it so it's a little bit further down like this. Okay, let's start at his collar right here. Gonna go from here, down. It's gonna meet that line there. This line that we did originally. I'm gonna do his collar back here. And then down and forward. So over, down, and then forward. And then we got this line right here. All right? So we're getting there. Always, folks, when you're drawing something, look at the proportions. The relations between size in one thing, for example, the collar in his mouth. If I was to do this with his collar and I bring it up, where does it match up? So the collar, the thickness of the collar is almost from the bottom of the chin to the middle of his teeth. So I go like this, bottom of the chin to the middle of the teeth. Okay? It's a little proportion. You got that, that's how you can get better with, uh, with proportions. You grab this eye and you poke around. Where does it, what, what does this match up with in size or close to? Well, here we go. So the top of his nose to the bottom of his mouth. So I go like this, put the top of his nose, bottom of his top lip, right? So eyeball, top of his nose, right? And they don't have to be exact, but they have to be, but they do, the closer you come, the more 
like what you're, the more likeness you're going to get between your drawing and what you're trying to, what your subject is, right? And you do the same thing with people. Spacing, for example, this space here, you go like this, okay? What is this space equal to? Where can I find a relationship that's similar? You're not always going to find a match, but that's not that big of a deal. Then you move on to something else. So um, let's see, what else can I do? You guys get the idea. Yeah, you guys get the idea. There isn't a lot going on with Mr. Simpson's face here, so, uh, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's move on over here. From here, we're going to come across for this part and then down. Okay, it goes almost down to a th this line here goes almost as far as to the bottom of this V. So here, right? So about there. And then it comes back. And his little shirt, his shirt right here, this part of his shirt almost lines up with this neck, with his neck. So that's a good little marker, right? Again, relationships. You're looking at the relationships between one thing on the drawing and another. All right, and then this does come all the way across. So this comes back. Okay, so right below that is the sleeve from the arm on the far side. So about right here. Come down, over, and then back. All right, and this can probably come out a little bit further. So a little more outward like this. Where it curves out a bit more. There we go. And then he does have his arm where, it, oh, I don't know if you guys can all see, but his little belly begins right there where at the bottom of this line, his little belly starts. So that's what we're doing here. Bottom of this line, his little belly starts to protrude out. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring this sleeve in a little closer to his body. It's not quite, doesn't quite stick out as far. So about like that. All right. From here is where his, his arm is. His arm's right there. Okay, cool. What do we have left? His other sleeve. All right, his other sleeve and his arm. So that other sleeve actually comes in just a little tiny bit into this line. So about right there. Again, keep it light so you can make adjustments. This arm goes to about right here. That, or sleeve, I should say, and then it comes in and down. Okay, this line here comes down there we go and then actually this angles up a little bit more and that comes in there's his little arm other part of his arm is about right here. You, it's kind of hard to see because of the canvas, right? Where the canvas starts to turn in a little bit. So, okay. Let's see. Did we forget anything? Let's look around. Let's make an assessment and make adjustments. So these lines in here, let's erase these because we don't need these anymore. All right, like that. Clean up the inside of my eyes a bit. around like this clean up some of the some of the little um, smudges <laughs> all right put this line in here in between the neck just cleaning all that up cleaning all that up <laughs> all right mr. Homer Simpson everyone Give me a moment. I need to grab a pen because I'm going to come in and outline Mr. Simpson, okay? Take a look at yours. If you followed along so far, take a look at, your, look at yours and go, all right, what is off? Is there anything that's off? Did I forget anything? See, we got his little collar. Oh, yes, I did. I forgot his little area right there right where the back of his shirt is. So, like, right in there. I can also take his collar down a little bit more. And fix that. There we go. And then maybe this in here. Go back. Clean that line. Okay. Let's pause and I'm going to grab my pen.
Okay, boys and girls, I'm back. So I've got my pen. All I'm going to do now is darken up everything that I've done. Okay. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to bring it a little close to the um, camera so you guys can see what I've done with just the pencil. All right. So here we go. Taking a marker here just so you guys at home can see what I did right with my pencil. One eye. Now touches his nose. Nose comes over. Comes down. There we go. All right, we might as well do the other part of his mouth, his lips. All right, his teeth. Just like that. To his forehead. His brow on his forehead. His hair. Oftentimes, when people draw stuff, they overcomplicate things. Take your time, but just as I did with this, look at the overall shapes first, and then go in. Do the big shapes first, and then start to add the detail. Or I should say, look at the overall shape. Okay, look at the, look at the, whoops, I kind of went a little further down right there with that line. That's all right. If I decide to paint it, I'll fix it. Oh, let's not forget his eyes. Look at the relationships between size, shapes, distances, between, between, um, between parts, in this case, his face, right? Like we did the little lining up of the nose and the bottom of the lip and what that matched up to. You know, that's how you start to get proportions. Over time, your brain starts to do that automatically without really thinking about it too much. So like with everything else, the more practice you get, the better you will become. Your brain has no choice but to get better at it. And everybody has a different starting point. Some of your friends may be really good at drawing naturally. Some of you may not be as talented. But... Practice does make better. It really does. Like with anything, with anything in life, right? Um, practice does make you better. But you, you do have to do it. You have to do it often so that your brain gets used to the process. Okay. Don't forget his neck. Let's do like this. Over. Okay, a little part of the sleeve back there. There's his arm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There is Mr. Homer Simpson in the flesh. Well, not quite in the flesh. On canvas, with pencil, and then ink. So I don't know. Oh, I almost forgot this little part back there. So I don't know, folks. Maybe we'll paint him. Oh, okay, there's shading in here too, right? There's a little shading up in there. Uh, might as well do that too. I'll show you guys how to do a little bit of shading. Okay, there's a couple of ways you guys can approach shading. Um, let me grab a paper towel really quickly. I'll show you the easiest way to produce some, some little shading lines or shaded areas. Not shading lines, shaded areas. So you can use your finger, I can grab, let me see if this will work here. My pencil may not be, uh, all I'm grabbing is my pencil, grabbing, I've got a paper towel here, I'm gonna do this. So he's got some shading there in his head. Oh, there we go, you're not gonna see this, you're not going to see this probably in there, or you might a little bit. Or I can also do this, just use the pencil itself to shade. So there's a little line that comes in like this, kind of a little highlight area, so let me outline that first. 
So it looks like there's a light hitting the front side of Homer's face and around his nose like this. Let me remove this here. One of the lines from earlier. But anyway, I'll do a little bit of it because I don't think you can be able to see it too much on the camera. So here I am. I'm just coming in with my pencil and I'm darkening in all this in here. All right, here's a darker shaded area, so we'll do that too. But for now, I'm just darkening in the lighter, the, the lighter of the two shadings, shaded areas. And this comes down actually all the way down to his nose, like this. Okay, now I'll grab, I can grab my finger. My finger will work too. Actually, this might even work better than the paper towel. There we go. There we go. I'm sure you guys can see. It looks like it's coming through on the camera, which is perfect. That's what we want. So again, I'm using my finger for this shading. And I'm going to go all the way down into his neck. Just as it is here. Okay. Around his face like this. His nose. And then where my pencil go? Rolled off. And then there is darker shading around his mouth. So... And then this has a highlight. You guys can all see a little highlight right in there. So I'll outline the highlight first. All right, and I'll come in like this. And again, this shading is a little darker than what's on the rest of his face. So I'm going to make these pencil marks a little darker. That, like that. Okay, and then I take a finger again and just do that. All right, there's also a darker area in here and it comes down, so I'll do that too. Actually, I'm going to line it out, uh, pencil it in first so I know where I'm going to go. Goes to here. Comes up, comes up. There's a little dark area under the nose, right in here, like this. Okay, and then this comes down to here, goes into the mouth, like this. Okay, so, um, let's darken that up. this under all right so again with my finger I'll come in and just do this all right all right look at that he has some shading in it shading his, in his eyes as well so here okay we're gonna I'll draw it in first we'll make a little moon shape this one has one too. I'll shade it in first with a pencil, both sides. Then I'll use my finger again. Okay, if I go, if I pass, go beyond the lines, I'll just come in with the eraser and fix that up on the edges. Same thing over here. There we go. Okay. There is Mr. Homer Simpson. And of course, there's shading on his sleeves. Okay, I'll do those two. I'll do those two. We're almost there anyway. We're almost done. Might as well. So I block it in first. I pencil it in first. Then I'll fill it in lightly. Then I'll come with my finger. And there we go. Using my pencil, my eraser, to clean up the edges. There we go. Down on the sleeve, this one here. Down. Then come over like this. Turn it. Okay. Use my finger. There we go. Inside of his collar over here. Use my finger. 
can set it here. Squeeze my finger. And then let's clean up a little bit. Some of the areas where we went beyond our lines. All right, Mr. Homer Simpson is all done. Look at that, folks. How cool is that? Bailey and friends, your little brother, family, everybody else that's watching me and following along. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys want me to paint it. Maybe we'll paint Homer Simpson on the next, se uh, next session. All right. Okay, boys and girls, do not forget to send me your requests. I do requests. If you guys have a particular character that you like, some cartoon character, you want to see an animal of some type done, etc., uh, send me your requests. Also, if you like what you saw here, subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. And yeah, just leave me your comments down below. Okay, leave me your comments down in the section underneath. Uh, send me your pictures via my email, which is also down below in the description for this video. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I will see you guys very soon. Again, let me know if you want to see me, see me paint Mr. Homer Simpson. All right. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.